In a bizarre twist of events, archaeologists has discovered mysteries that should not have been seen. This has caused a stir among archaeologists and historians. They want to know the reason for this, but not before they're seen. We will discover what they discovered now that people would pay any price to get their hands on it. Here you are, 20 horrifying archaeological discoveries. Number 20, rock-hewn churches in Lalibela. The last Tukuls are two-story roundhouses of local red stone near the churches in Lalibela's village. Coptic Christians have been making pilgrimages to these spectacular structures since the 12th century. With five aisles, Biete Madani Alem is the world's largest monolithic church, while Biete Georgis boasts a unique cruciform layout. The majority were used as churches initially, with Biete Mercurios and Biete Gabriel Raphael perhaps serving as royal residences. Mural paintings embellish the interiors of several of the apartments. In a mountainous area in Ethiopia's heartland, around 645 kilometers from Addis Ababa, 11 medieval monolithic cathedrals were carved out of rock. Their creation is assigned to King Lalibela, who set out in the 12th century to erect a new Jerusalem after Muslim conquest disrupted Christian pilgrimages to the Holy Land. Lalibela flourished after the Aksum Empire fell apart. Rather than being constructed in the traditional method, the churches were hewn from the live rock of monolithic blocks. These blocks were chiseled to create doors, windows, columns, numerous levels, roofs, and other features. This gigantic undertaking included a complex network of drainage canals, trenches, and ceremonial passageways, some of which led to hermit caves and catacombs. This time for the strange topic, one of the numerous mysteries no one was supposed to see is a fallen angel. How do we interpret this? Archaeologists discovered a human body with a broken skull and widespread wings. The body seems leveled with the soil after a heavy hit drop from the sky. Some part of the body finds its way into the soil but not buried. Also, there is a huge crack on the ground around the skeleton caused by the speed of the hit. There are enough proofs that the body fell from a very high cliff to exact so much pressure on the ground. But where exactly did the fall occur? The distance of the fall is also unknown. The body has its wings spread out, making it something different from humans. Could this be a fallen angel after a flight in heaven? What exactly does this represent? What do you guys think of this? Do you think this might be real? Share your comments with the hashtag strange topic and we'll pin the ones that can best explain what is going on in this picture. Number 19, rare ancient scroll found in Israel cave of horror. In what officials call a historic discovery in Israel's desert caves, fragments of a biblical scroll and other artifacts have been discovered. The dozens of parchment pieces were all written in Greek, with only the name of God in Hebrew. Following a failed insurrection against Roman power in the second century, from the rebuilding of the temple and Jerusalem to a coming messianic king. The scroll is thought to have belonged to Jewish rebels who escaped to the hills. They were discovered during an operation to prevent the looting of caves in the vicinity. It's the first find of its like since identical fragments and 40 skeletons were uncovered at the site known as the Cave of Horror in the early 1960s. A verse from the books of Zechariah and Nahum, which are part of the literature represents the 12 minor prophets, has been discovered in the recently discovered fragments. They were discovered in an operation to prevent the looting of caves in the vicinity. Apart from God's words, which were written in Hebrew, the rest were written in Greek. It's the first find of its like since identical fragments and 40 skeletons were uncovered at the site known as the Cave of Horror in the early 1960s. Number 18. Tollenban one of the strange discoveries in the universe has to be bog bodies. The bodies of these people were frequently subjected to harsh punishment or execution. To dispose of the bodies, they were thrown into bogs. The bogs perfectly preserved them over time. The Tolan Man is a naturally mummified body of a man who lived in the 4th century BC during the pre-Roman Iron Age in Scandinavia. In 1950, he was discovered as a bog body in Denmark's Jutland Peninsula. The man's physical characteristics were so well maintained that he was mistaken for a murder victim who had just died. The death was caused by hanging. And as for hanging, it's quite consistent with hanging and also with the noose being placed. Because of the ordered posture of his body and the fact that his eyes and mouth were closed, scholars assume the man was a human sacrifice rather than an executed criminal. The precise contents of Tallinn Man's Last Supper are known to scientists, porridge and fish. 
1950, the well-preserved body of Tallinn Man was pulled up from the Bilgekovdal peat bog in north-central Denmark. Tallinn Man, a 30 to 40-year-old man at the time of his death, was hanged between 405 and 380 BCE. Number 17. The Copper Scroll Treasure Treasure hunters are using a map of the Dead Sea called a Copper Squirrel to look for ancient Jewish treasures worth $1 billion, but they could already be stolen. Archaeologists are battling grave thieves to discover more ancient Dead Sea scrolls than the gold they may contain. The first batch of scrolls was discovered in 1947, followed by the mysterious Copper Squirrel in 1952. But discoveries have sparked interest, and hundreds of caves remain searched. What the Copper Scroll was very unique in that it was obviously not deposited on the run. The Copper Scroll is a well-known scroll because it is the only one made of copper, and it contains a list of locations where various gold and silver things are buried. The scroll's uniqueness was quickly recognized by archaeologists who discovered it included directions to 64 spots where where massive amounts of riches could be recovered. Scholars believe that this parchment scroll was deposited in the cave separately from the others. The scroll is constructed of copper that is so thin that it can be rolled up, but owing to corrosion, it had to be chopped into strips for preservation and is now on exhibit at the Jordan Museum. The scroll lists over 4,600 pieces of precious gold, valuing the treasure at well over $1 billion. Number 16. Shroud of Turin the Holy Shroud, often known as the Shroud of Turin, is a length of linen cloth with a strange image of a man on it. Some say the image is Jesus of Nazareth, and the fabric is thought to be the burial shroud in which he was draped after his crucifixion. According to historical documents, the Shroud of Turin was first discovered in Lyrie, France in the 1350s. It was purportedly delivered to the church's dean in Lyrie by a French knight named Geoffrey de Charny as Jesus' actual burial cloth. The Church of Lyrie began to attract a large number of pilgrims as well as a large amount of money after the shroud was placed on display. That's two point there. However, many senior members of the church remained doubtful of its veracity. The Shroud of Turin research project claimed in the 1970s that the stain on the cloth were actual human blood and that the symbols on the cloth were consistent with a crucified body. One group of scientists claimed in 1988 that their examination proved the shroud was made between 1260 and 1390, while another claimed it was made between 300 BC and 400 AD. In 2018, forensic procedures were employed to prove that the blood stains on the shroud could not have come from Christ. Number 15. The Screaming Mummies for thousands of years, a secret lay buried in the Egyptian desert and the sands of time. In 1881, the screaming mummy was discovered for the first time. She lay in the royal cachette, where priests from the 21st and 22nd dynasties had hidden the mummified bodies of deceased royals so tomb robbers wouldn't locate them. The princess was in her 60s at the time. According to Hawass, she died in the same cross-legged position she was mummified in. He also claimed that as she tilted her head to the side post-mortem, her jaw fell and rigor mortis froze her face in that position. The body was then allegedly mummified fast while still in a state of rigor mortis before it began to relax or decompose. This, the so-called screaming mummy. Another theory is that rigor mortis had set her mouth in a scream so hard that the embalmers couldn't wrap it tightly enough to put her jaw back in place. The dead can communicate through their belongings, but they can't shout. When you scream, you activate muscles, which requires a functional brain. A corpse with no brain activity can't keep screaming knowingly. Instead of making the mummy's expression look less screamy, jaw relaxation made a face whose mouth was probably closed at the time of death appear to be screaming into eternity. Number 14. The Unknown Purpose of Stonehenge Stonehenge is a famous tourist destination in the United Kingdom and one of the most mysterious ancient monuments in the world. People can come from all over the world to see the famed stone pillars and ponder how and why they were built. This has been true in the last 10 years. Researchers have been looking into the monument itself and the surrounding area in the hopes of uncovering clues in this fascinating landscape of prehistoric monuments. According to underground imaging and excavation, Stonehenge was once a part of a complex network of structures, including ancient burial mounds, unknown settlements, processional routes, and even gold-adorned burials. The discoveries paint a picture of a Neolithic and Bronze Age world that is far more mysterious and elaborate than previously thought. The Stonehenge Hidden Landscapes Project, which ran from 2010 to 2014, was one such project that looked at Stonehenge holistically. Stonehenge is at the center of a complex web of structures covering an estimated 4.5 square miles, according to underground radar and magnetic imaging techniques. 
When scientists announced the discovery of a potential superhinge at nearby Durrington Walls, a massive 1,640-foot diameter stone circle, the project sparked a media frenzy. Number 13. Oatsy the Iceman Found With All His Tools Oatsy, commonly known as the Iceman, is a natural mummy of a man who lived between 3400 and 3100 BC and was discovered in the total Alps, hence the moniker Oatsy, on the Austrian-Italian border in September 1991. After discovering an arrowhead embedded in his left shoulder and several other wounds, the nature of existence and the circumstances surrounding his death have sparked much interest and discussion. He is Europe's oldest natural human mummy, providing a unique perspective on Catholic, Copper Age Europeans. In Bolzano, South Tyro, Italy, his body and belongings are displayed at the South Tyro Museum of Archaeology. When the roughly 45-year-old guy died sometime between 3370 and 3100 BC, he had a head injury and an artery-piercing arrow in his shoulder during the Copper Age. In 1991, hikers discovered his preserved frozen remains in the Alps of northern Italy, and experts have been studying Oatsy's body and things ever since. Oatsy's toolkit, which included a dagger, an end scraper, a borer, a flake, an antler retoucher, and two arrowheads, has yet to be fully explored by scientists. Plus, the arrowhead still stuck in his shoulder. It's difficult to research such ancient and delicate subjects. They were then confronted with a mountain of information to comb through. Number 12. Missing Swiss Couple Found on Frozen Alps 75 Years Later A Swiss couple who vanished from their property in the Alps during World War II was discovered mummified in a glacier 75 years later. Marceline and Francine Dumoulin, 40 and 37, went missing on August 15, 1942 while milking their cows in a nearby pasture. They never saw their six children or return to their relatives. During normal maintenance, a worker discovered the frozen bodies of a man and a woman last week. It appeared to be little rocks from a distance, but there were much too many of them in the same location. The bodies were found close together. It was a guy and a lady dressed in World War II era attire. Their goods were undamaged and they were wonderfully preserved in the glacier. On August 15, 1942, the couple went missing while on a journey to milk their cows. The San Fluron Glacier also yielded a slew of accessories, including backpacks, boots, and watches, in addition to the bodies. Number 11. The Mount Owen Moa Archaeologists discovered a 3,300-year-old bird claw. While excavating a cave, According to scientists, the Earth has been existence for about 4.54 billion years old, predating even human life. There is more to learn about our home planet than we were taught in school. People couldn't help but be amazed when a photo of an exceptionally large bird claw circulated online. In 1987, the New Zealand Speleological Society discovered the gigantic claw. They explored Mount Owen's cave systems in New Zealand when they came across an incredible find. It was a claw that looked like it came from a dinosaur. It still had muscles and skin tissues attached, much to their amazement. The claw was in such good condition that it appeared to have come from something that had only recently died. The upland moa, Megaloteryx didinus, was a New Zealand-only species of moa bird. The first moa appeared some 18 and a half million years ago, and there were at least 10 species according to a DNA analysis published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Still, they were wiped out in the fastest human-facilitated megafauna extinction reported to date. Number 10. Qin Shi Wang's Tomb The Qin Tomb of Wade Giles Archaeological Site, Qin, also known as the Mausoleum of the First Qin Emperor, is a major site in China near the ancient city of Chang'an. It is now near the modern city of Xi'an. It is where the first emperor, Shi Wangdi of the Qin Dynasty, 221 to 227 BCE, was buried. He unified the empire, started work on the Great Wall of China, and built a 20 square mile funerary complex. This complex's structures, which were only discovered some 2100 years after Xing Wangdi died, were only found now. Some 8,000 life size soldiers and horses were found in 1974 by farmers drilling a well. They were made from pieces that had been fired separately but given individual faces. Archaeologists later found that the soldiers and horses were accompanied by chariots made of wood and bronze, iron farm tools, bronze and leather bridles, silk, linen, jade, and bone objects, and bows and other weapons. The clay figures, painted with mineral colors, were put together in a specific military formation that followed the rules of the time. The front group of the bowmen and crossmen, the outer group of archers, infantrymen, and charioteers, and the armored back group were all part of the formation. 
Number 9. Gobeleki Tepe In southeastern Turkey, Klaus Schmidt has made one of the most important archaeological discoveries of our time. Huge carved stones about 11,000 years old and was made by people who didn't even know how to make metal tools or pottery. 6,000 years before Stonehenge, the megaliths were already there. Archaeologist Schmidt from Germany thinks this is where the world's first temple was built. The place is called Gobekli Tepe and Schmidt has been working there for more than a decade. Our guide leads us up the hill to rectangular pits with corrugated steel roofs, where the main excavation work is taking place as shown in the picture. There are pillars or standing stones in the pits. They are arranged in a circle. It looks like there are four more rings of partially excavated pillars on the hillside behind. Each ring is made up of two large stones that look like T-shaped pillars surrounded by smaller stones that face inward. The tallest pillars are 16 feet tall and they weigh between 7 and 10 tons. Some have nothing written on them, but others are very detailed. Foxes, lions, scorpions, and birds are all over the pillars' broadsides. Number 8. Vampire Skull Found in Italy Remains of a medieval vampire have been found among the bodies of people who died of the plague in Venice in the 1600s, says an Italian archaeologist who led the dig. The body of a woman was found in a mass grave on the island of Lazaretto Nuovo in Venice, Italy. Ancient people thought she might be a vampire, which was a common belief at that time. Gravediggers pushed a rock into her skull to keep her from eating through her shroud and giving other people the plague. Vampires were just one of the many possible modern explanations for the spread of the Venetian plague in 1576, which spread through the city and killed up to 50,000 people. There were not many medieval Draculas in Italy's famous Canal City though. As many people in Venice die every day, gravediggers may have misunderstood the corpses they saw at different stages of decomposition when they reopened fresh mass graves. The stages that make a body into a skeleton were unknown because they happened in the grave. A grave was usually opened after years when the body had turned into a skeleton. Number 7. Stone Spheres in Costa Rica an assortment of more than 300 stone balls is found in Costa Rica. They are found in the Discus Delta, and they are also found on the island of Cao del Cal. People in the area are also called balls of stone, literally stone balls. The spheres are usually thought to be from the Discus culture, and they are sometimes called the Discus spheres. People all over the Istmo Colombian area know about these stone sculptures because they are the best known ones. They are thought to have been placed in lines on the way to the homes of the chiefs, but what they meant is unclear. There are a lot of archaeological excavations. It's in the country's southern region, called the Disquis Delta. The Palmar Sur archaeological excavations are a group of excavations focused on a site called Finca 6, Farm 6, finds from the Aguas Buenas period, 300 to 800 CE, and the Chirqui period, 800 to 1550 CE, can be found. There were some pre-Columbian settlements with stone spheres in June of 2014. They were added to a list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites that year. During the summer of 2014, a project to make the spheres a country symbol was approved. It had been proposed in 2011. Number 6. Krogan Man the Krogan Man is another bog body that became renowned after being discovered in good but odd conditions. His fingernail bed, which is still distinct and visible, is the most astounding aspect of his body's condition. Given that he died so long ago, it's a bit strange. The well-preserved Irish Iron Age bog body Old Krogan Man was discovered in June 2003. Krogan Hill, north of Dangian County Offaly, is where the body was discovered, and the remains are called for it. The discovery is on display in Dublin's National Museum. Museum of Ireland. Old Krogan Man was discovered three months after Clonakavan Man, a similar find in County Meath. The man is estimated to have stood roughly 6 foot 6 inches tall, based on his arm span, which is very tall for the period in which he lived. Because of the man's seemingly manicured nails, it was assumed that he did not work in manual labor and was thus of great class. Wheat and buttermilk were thought to have been his last meal, based on the contents of his stomach. He did, however, enjoy a meat-rich diet for at least the four months leading up to his death. Pleurisy scars on his lungs imply that he had the disease. Number 5. The Voynich Manuscript, The World's Most Mysterious Book 
The manuscript is an illustrated codex written in the Voynichesi writing system, otherwise unknown. It was written on vellum that has been carbon dated to the early 15th century, 1404 through 1438, and stylistic analysts suggest it was produced in Italy during the Italian Renaissance. The manuscript's origins, authorship, and purpose are all up for question. It's been argued that it's an otherwise unrecorded script for a natural or created language, an unread code, cipher, or another type of cryptography, or simply a meaningless farce. The text is currently roughly 240 pages long, although there are indications that more are missing. Some of the pages are made up of foldable sheets of various sizes. The majority of the pages include imaginative pictures or schematics, some of which are badly colored, with sections of the manuscript depicting people, imaginary vegetation, astrological symbols, and so on. The material is written in a left-to-right direction. Wilfred Voynich, a Polish book trader who bought it in 1912, is the manuscript's name. It has been housed at Yale University's Beneke Rare Book and Manuscript Library since 1969. Number 4. The Moai Statues Apart from wondering what happened to the island's occupants, one of the major puzzles is finding out what these massive stone statues were for. Some speculate that the island's inhabitants died of disease or were sold into slavery, but one thing is certain, the statues are proof of their existence. They are monolithic human sculptures carved on Easter Island in eastern Polynesia between 1250 and 1500 by the Rapa Nui people. Hundreds of moai were brought from Rano Raraku, the island's major moai quarry, and placed on stone platforms known as Ahu along the island's perimeter. Almost every moai has a head that is three-eighths the size of the entire statue. The moai are mostly deified ancestors' living faces, a ringa ora, a ringa ora at a tapuna. The sculptures still looked inland across their clan borders when Europeans first arrived in 1722, but they had all crumbled by the end of the 19th century. The tallest moai, known as Paro, stood about 10 meters, 33 feet tall, and weighed 82 tons. The biggest moai erected was at Ahu Tangariki, where a a shorter but squat moai weighing 86 tons was erected. If completed, one incomplete sculpture would have stood roughly 21 meters 69 feet tall and weighed between 145 and 165 tons. Number 3. 3600 year old pits full of giant hands discovered in Egypt. A group of archaeologists excavating a palace in the ancient Egyptian city of Avaris made a shocking find. Archaeologists discovered the skeletons of 16 human hands buried in four pits. Two pits, one in front of what is thought to be a throne room, each holds one hand. The 14 remaining hands are kept in two more holes built later in the palace's exterior space. There are no left-handed people among them. The majority of the hands are quite enormous, and some of them are large. The discoveries, which were unearthed in the Nile Delta northeast of Cairo, date back around 3600 years to a period when the Hyksos, a race thought to have originated in North Canaan, ruled over a portion of Egypt and established their capital at Avar which is now known as Tel El Daba. The palace was being used by Hyksos rulers, King Kayan, when the hands were buried. Number 2. Incan Child Mummy Three Inca mummies discovered near the lofty summit of Argentina's Volcan Lulailaco were so perfectly preserved that they gave the ancient ritual of Capacocha, which ended with their sacrifice, a human face. The bodies of Lulailaco Maiden, 13, and her younger companions, Lulailaco Boy and Lightning Girl, have now been discovered, revealing that mind-altering chemicals were used in their deaths and during the year-long series of ceremonial rites that prepared them for their dying hours. After a biochemical examination, the maiden's hair produced a record of what she ate and drank two years before her death. This study appears to back up historical accounts of a few chosen youths participating in a year of religious ceremonies that culminated in their sacrifice, as evidenced by changes in their hair from changes in food, coca, and alcohol consumption. According to the writers, coca and wine can induce altered moods associated with the sacred and Inca religious doctrine. On the other hand, the chemicals are more likely to have served a practical function, such as confounding founding and sedating the young victims on the high mountainside to make them more sensitive to their awful fate. Because of the freezing circumstances immediately below the mountain's 22,100 foot top, the maiden and her youthful counterparts discovered in 1999 are in a great state of natural preservation. Number 1. The Lost City of Atlantis 
The island that appears in Plato's books, Timaeus and Critias, is an allegory on nationalism. It represents the adversary naval power that besieges ancient Athens, the pseudo-historic incarnation of Plato's ideal society in the Republic. In the myth, unlike any other nation in the known world, Athens repels the Atlantean onslaught, presumably demonstrating the supremacy of Plato's vision of a state. At the end of the story, Atlantis is no longer favored by the gods and sinks into the Atlantic Ocean. Despite its small role in Plato's Arvois, the Atlantis narrative has had a significant literary impact. The utopian writings of various Renaissance writers such as Francis Bacon's New Atlantis and Thomas More's Utopia took up the symbolic aspect of Atlantis. On the other hand, 19th century amateur researchers, most notably Ignatius L. Donnelly in his Atlantis, The Antediluvian World, mistook Plato's account as historical tradition. Plato's hazy suggestions of the event's timing, about 9,000 years before his time, and the putative location of Atlantis, beyond the Pillars of Hercules, sparked a lot of pseudoscientific discussions. As a result, Atlantis has become a catch-all term for any alleged advanced prehistoric lost civilizations, and it continues to inspire current fiction, ranging from comic books to films. Some of these mysterious findings are scary, and more than one hidden story has come to light in historical places. Which of these fascinating discoveries will make you wonder? 